in Trinidad and Tobago, eight-year-old Hope was raped, battered, beaten, and then killed by a slit throat. Her rapist and murderer later hanged himself. Haitian-American author Edwidge Danticat wrote freely about Haiti and how women suffered from years of rape in a Haiti of yesteryear. In 2011, in the aftermath of the earthquake, Haitian women are extremely vulnerable, and rapes have escalated. In this time, they are suffering now more than ever. Young girls in the Caribbean are often silenced by their rapists and threatened. Therefore, most of the rapes go undetected and unreported and untreated. West Indian women are no strangers to being rape victims. Many of them have experienced rape all their lives in one way or another. Some have fallen victim to it, and others have just seen the effects of rape in generations before them and in the society they live in, a society where women are shunned if they do speak about any type of sex, whether it be rape or consensual. Now is the time. It's way past due. West Indian women are women, are girls. We need to be educated and we need to know exactly how to take care of ourselves and diminish this disease that is among us. Because if we don't, we're giving way to the cycle.